Today I will cover a few common questions about PlanSwift software. So the first question is how to open two PlanSwift projects at same time. PlanSwift jobs or project whatever you want to call. By default if user tries to open the second project PlanSwift automatically close the first one. So the question is how to keep two plans of projects open at the same time. You can see here if I minimize, I already have two different projects, project 2021 and project 2020. Both projects are different and have different files here. You can see here, it's completely different. So how to do that? Click here settings, advance, by default you will find here only one if you want to keep two plans if open at same time you have to keep it two if you wish to open three plans if then you can change in the same manner but before you apply this you may need to close plans if you may need to restart plans if once so that's how you can open multiple jobs at same time i hope it's clear second question is why this verify window appears always it's one of the useful function but maybe you don't like it or it may annoy you and you don't want to see it again so how to avoid that this is the question fine let's close here there is one option at the status bar verify point so if you really want to ignore this option just simply click here once you click it's turn off if you click again it will turn on so keep it off if you don't want to see it and now you can click it will never appear again okay what is the purpose of this verify point let me just give you a quick idea just give any item name if you need to highlight a length some running meter and you're not sure because you're not sure where it will end but it's basically three meter or four meter and if it's turned on it's very easy you just need to click soft will confirm with you and you can simply click here okay it should be 4.5 4.4 you can just decide as you want maybe 4.0 best okay so software will keep it in the same manner and maybe it's here 4 meter as well so just click anywhere maybe here software will confirm with you you can simply mention here okay it's 4.0 press okay so it will click automatically so that's the benefit have you ever noticed whenever you open the plan shift software it always open the previous project your previous job Maybe you don't even want to work on it, but still plans of default setting will push the software to open the previous project. What is the reason behind it? If you are okay with it, you can keep it same, but I will not suggest to open the previous project. Why? The first reason is if your previous project is heavy, plans of may spend 10 to 15 minutes or maybe lesser or more to open the previous project. This is the one reason and second is what if your previous project is corrupted and because the default setting will always open the previous project so plans will not allow you to open the previous project and it will not allow you to open a new one so that's why it's not suggested to open always previous project fine there is a setting you can see here in settings in general this is the setting there are two options automatically open the last project so if you don't want software to open the last project you can simply uncheck so it's recommended because if you really want to work on a previous project you can select by yourself so software will not open it this is one suggestion and what if it's already checked and now there is a virus in your previous project now you are not able to skip it because the setting is already done so how to ignore that i can guide you about that let's close it we will open the plan shift there is one way to skip this setting if you hold the alt key from the keyboard if you keep it hold alt key from the keyboard plan shift will skip this option it will never open the previous project you can see here plan shift opened and there is no job okay fourth one is how to keep plans of projects in organized way you can see here plans of keep my projects with the time and date some of the projects i have done in 2016 17 18 and 19 all the projects are in organized way by the date and time but how to see it by default user will not see this option so how to bring it i can guide you so click on a column 
by default you will not see this option uh, it will not be there it will be like that without time and stamp so you have to click on a column you can see there is one option add plus button you can click on it we need to add a column now which column so we have to type here time stamp when I added a time stamp we can see here the date and time appears here and we can arrange accordingly ascending or descending we can arrange accordingly okay now why time stamp only why not date and time or show the time so software has a coding behind if you call only by this name then only software will show you the exact date and time I hope you understand there is a coding behind every software and you have to type the same spelling and the first character should be capital T and stamp for timestamp this is one and how do I know it's timestamp what if you forget after some time so see you need to select any job and then click on a properties in advance software will show you all the functions you can see here if you type name software will show you the number if you type description software will show you the detail about the project if somebody requests timestamp then only software will show you the exact date and time so that's how I know even if you forget you can get it from here okay and the fifth question is how to get a unique job number here because not everything we can remember what if I type here 2020 software will show me this job is already existed what about 2021 this is also existed so how to get a unique number without typing multiple time so it's a small trick in settings you can simply check this option in data storage automatic job numbering for new job if you keep it check it's a small setting it will work you can see here my last project is 2021 so if I click here new software will automatically give me the new number next should be 2022 so it's a small function but very helpful I hope you understand the point and last if you ever face difficulty with PDF and CAD file then you should watch my previous videos and if you learned something new today let me know in the comments below so that's it for today see you in the next video till then keep learning